Hi everyone, it's uh, just after 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time on April 8th, 2024, uh, the day of the total solar eclipse. I am here in Pegram, Tennessee, just west of Nashville. Uh, we are minutes from, I think, 95% uh, coverage. We do, we do not have totality here. Uh, but it wasn't my mission to show you the eclipse anyway. Uh, it's cloudy here. Uh, but I'm sure that 10,000 other people can, can show you the eclipse. My mission here is to show you that, indeed, it does not get totally dark or anywhere even close to that in an eclipse. Add in the cloud cover that we have, and, well, it should be darker than, than, than on a sunny day, but it's certainly not as dark as it would be at, say, 3 o'clock in the morning or anything like that. So if anyone ever tells you that it gets, like, nighttime dark during a total solar eclipse, you can show them this video and tell them that they're wrong. I'm going to walk here just a little bit, and we're going to see that my neighbor's next-door neighbor's streetlight. I'm trying not to show anything here. Um, you see it there? It still has not come on yet. We're in supposedly 95% totality. It's a minute or two after two. But yet the streetlight hasn't even come on yet. This is, you know, it, it is highly unusual for it to be this dark during midday. But uh, it, to me, it looks like it does about, say, 7.30 in the evening in the spring or summertime. Um, or when it's getting ready to rain. It's been cloudy here for the last, I don't know, half hour or so. I have seen the eclipse with my eclipse glasses, of course. Uh, but we, we're, we're, we're socked in with clouds right now, so I, even if I wanted to, I couldn't show you the eclipse. But again, 10,000 other people can do that for you. I'm not sure how long, much longer I should stay with this, but uh, again, we're near totality, 95%-ish. It's a couple minutes after two, and we do not have anywhere near total darkness. You can see my storage building and all the trees in the backyard. Uh, so here at the House of Harmon, it did not get anywhere near total darkness. But I'm gonna stay with this for a couple more minutes and we'll see. I'll go back and check the uh, neighbor's street light to see if it has come on yet. If I were expecting total darkness from an eclipse, total eclipse, I would be highly disappointed right now. Okay. Well, again, guys, there you have it. As close to total uh, totality as we'll get here, even with cloud cover, darker than normal, but not nighttime darkness. Sorry, guys, no total darkness during an eclipse. Of course, it didn't even get as dark today as it did in the 2017 eclipse. And I was down there in South Nashville watching it, and it got, eh, got a little darker than this, but it was a sunny day, and it was in totality there. So, but anyway, there you have it, guys. No total darkness, or anywhere even close to that, during a close to total solar eclipse. Now, maybe someone further west from here especially if they have clear skies, maybe they can show you some dark, more darkness, but we've had cl close to total uh, totality here, 95%, and yet it's still plenty daylight. It's darker than normal for, for midday, but nope, no darkness. Now I've been filming for about four and a half minutes. It's probably pr pretty close to totality, or, or as close as we're gonna get to it here. Neighbor street light still hasn't come on yet. By the way, I'm looking northeast for the neighbor street light. Most of the rest of this, I'm looking generally to the south or southwest. Our backyard faces southwest. 
and there's the beautiful Harpeth River down there. But we we got near totality, but not not, not anywhere total darkness. It sort it looks sort of like an over, overcast day, like it's getting ready to rain, and that's it. So there you go, guys. Nothing anywhere close to darkness, not even, nothing close to total darkness in a total solar eclipse or even close to it. I would think if anything, the clouds would make it darker or at least disperse the daylight, but even that didn't happen. Okay, folks, so there you have it. Doesn't look like nighttime during a supposedly total solar eclipse or anything even close to it. I will aim the camera up just a little bit. You can see some, some breaks in the clouds there, but it, it, was, it was cloudy here, overcast, so we basically missed the eclipse, but I saw it earlier when we had some broken clouds and broken sunlight. So there you have it, guys. Doesn't get, doesn't get nighttime dark during a supposedly total solar eclipse. So long, everyone. Bye.